Hello Capricorn, as well as Chinese year, Ox, Cardinal, or Captain Caps, welcome back to the Pipe Tribe family, which I'm pathetic medium Megan, or welcome to. I hope you guys are doing amazing again. I got to you guys yesterday, I believe, and now we're again doing it round two. Um, well, different round of videos, of course, you guys got John's the second one. So, if I can be on there, that'd be great. Thanks, Spirit, for being here. I truly do appreciate it. But Capricorn, what we're trying to do, what we're trying to do and pull through is what's going on within you and around you at this time. And of course, I am shuffling through the um, big old bunch of messages to get some of these to go through. But let's see what we get for you. A person who's very manipulative and seeks attention and throws pity parties. Somebody's throwing pity parties. And they love attention, okay? Um, it seems like that's a lot of people nowadays, or it seems to be... The universe does love you, okay? And how you make others feel about themselves or themselves says a lot about you. So remaining greatly humble. Spiritual promotion, active encouragement, further your cause, aim, and venture. So some kind of promotion spiritually is going to happen for you guys. So let's see what else we want to say for the Capricorn's energy here. You guys could be living the dream. There really is a happily ever after, okay? There really is such thing as a happily ever after. You have suffered some nightmares or this person that has been very manipulative has been suffering nightmares for some of you, but if you guys have definitely been feeling the, nef the nightmares thing, it's definitely you, okay? Um, breathe. Breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and the outside. That's kind of like I'm saying what's going on within and without. Connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source, permeating your entire being with prana, and prana is a life-giving force that nourishes everything in the entire universe. Okay, I was just talking about prana today in another reading. Um, you guys have stick together, love birds, okay? Let's see. Lots of birds of a feather, we stick together. I know that's like a Rio movie. It was so cute, the second one. They had that birds of a feather. I don't know if it's like a phrase or something that they say. So let's see what else we get. Capricorn. What else you want to add here? We have good God's plan by Drake. They will they would they wishing a lot of bad things on me. Right? They wish and they wish and they wish it on me. And a lot of bad things. God is on your side though at this time. So you can live that dream you've been wanting to live. To be like Drake yourself if you wish. You no. Drake I did I believe he's a Scorpio. Anyways, let's see. It almost flipped. It almost gave it to me. It did. I was like, oh man. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Don't be shy. I desire you. Someone is caught on camera and someone did something that isn't going to be problems later. They should have done something. Uh, you are my favorite work of art masterpiece. Oh, God is with you. So God's plan, God is on your side, God is with you at this time. And someone that needs you right now that could be a male, okay, in your life. Could be your father, could be your brother, could be your uncle, could be your son, could be a friend, a co-worker, a neighbor, okay? Um, but you are my favorite work of art. I desire you. Masterpiece here. When you guys do suffer nightmares, that's another thing is they want you just to breathe. But someone here is um, caught on camera that did something that they shouldn't have done. And this could be the person as well that's manipulative and seeks attention and throws pity parties and they don't get what they want. And that could be part of their karma. So there's some praying for improvement that is going on because I flipped right to it. You guys have angel number 906. Something huge is in your life is about to end, bringing something better in its place. So it represents empathy, responsibility, compromise, and endings. Okay, so something is about to end in your life. Capricorn, and you're about to find yourself in this new dream phase of life, okay? Let's see. We also, I do feel like there's dreams about the dream you want. Maybe nightmares that you feel like it won't happen. You also have an angel number 805. Time for professional growth. Many blessings are coming your way, but you do have to sit back and wait for things to happen. Prosperity, harmony, and abundance. As well as you have angel number 9284. Tells you that you must find out the things and thoughts fighting to prevent you from reaching your goals and managing self-sabotaging behaviors and thoughts. Inner voice being too critical. Time to release these negative patterns completely. 
feeling lonely and burdened as well. Okay, so these are the things you need to, like, if you're suffering nightmares, this is how you probably feel. These are the things to get rid of and no longer keep within you. And then you have a reincarnation. A past life is significant to the situation. A massive lesson is being learned during this time because of this. And it has a lot to do with the past life, with something within it. You have had one or multiple lives before this one. So, like I said, there's something within the past that you could be completing from the past life so that you can actually live the dream you've been wanting to live. And I've been reading a few things about that lately. Okay, what we're going to use is the light series. I'm actually going to get these bad boys here. For Capricorn, please. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm going to shuffle them first before I even start really looking at them. They need to be shuffled for sure. They need it. They need it. They need it. <laughs> Shuffle, 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 shuffle. What is that? The moon. Okay. Oh my goodness. The moon. You know what? You're going through this right now. The moon is in the upright. There is some kind of loneliness and emotional depth. If you're feeling very emotional. Okay, but you're about to flip that over. Okay, you're about to flip it over. You're about to like release a lot of fear here. But you're like in that process of doing it right now. Yeah, there's been a lot of bad luck and some dark energy intent towards you because you could be having the evil eye on you. I just don't know who this negative energy is. Whoever it is is really trying to keep you, but you're being protected. Seven of Wands is here. This person is just very childish and very, uh, as you can tell, my voice is like totally like, this is what I would be like if I was like totally disturbed or disrupted or just feeling like I don't want to be in some place, you know? This person doesn't make me want to be around them. They're in my energy and I just like don't like it, but I'm trying to read it for you. Anyway. This person's only been a disappointment to many things. This person did have a third party situation ship. Okay, I don't know who it was with or whatever, maybe with the three cups is here and it's not saying it's not around good cards. It's not around good cards at all. And two of cups in the reverse with it's kind of broken promises. Missed out opportunities and you know, disharmony, breakups, cheating, you know. Okay. There's a lot of things that had taken place that's really I don't like that person, whoever did that to you is, I don't know, their energy is totally not a good one. Okay, so this is Pisces and Rabbit, so I do feel like you guys are turning it around. The, and you have, like, the wolf, the wolves that are on the sides howling to the moon, right? Number 18 could be specific for you guys as well, just so you guys are aware. Um, but the moon with the wolves, the wolves are about loyalty, perseverance, stability, um, they're also about like pathfinder, like being able to find your own way, even through the dark. Okay. Um, let's see. And they're like the loyalty with the wolf is very much so with their pack and their tribe. Okay. You have the ace of pentacles coming out in the up right now. And this card is the two of cups in the reversal. This is what's caused you to have a lot of those overcritical thinking. And uh, I don't know, maybe somebody up and just left you out of nowhere. And there was nothing that you really did wrong. And it made you feel like you did everything wrong. And that you were questioning every single thing. But that wasn't the truth, okay? Somebody just up and walked away because they didn't feel the same way anymore. Um, uh, somebody up and cheated on you because they didn't know how to hurt your feelings. Because they were obviously very cruel. Okay? Now you're over here really checking in for alignment, and it has a lot to do with the injustice, which is why you have your guard up, but you have a lot of love here. Ace of Cups is here. You want to, like, you want to pronounce your love to this person, or they want to pronounce it to you. There is a completion. There is an ending. Like I said, some new, end, some new things are happening. You just have to sit back and let things happen and unfold the way they need, need to. Somebody does heavily desire you. You will see somebody as a masterpiece, and, they, and the, it's, a, it's a mutual energy. Um... But I feel like you're about to get over these suffer nightmares. So, like, what's going on within you is a total revelation, okay? You're releasing a lot of fear right now. And you are able to finally see things for what it really is on a deeper level because of the emotional depth that you hit. <clears throat> you're actually um, allowing new beginnings to come through with prosperity and abundance. This is, like, the new seedlings that you're planting. And this is also coming with, like, fertility ability to because like you guys could be pregnant or you're finding a way to have a baby soon or you'll find out you're pregnant soon or you're like within it could be you or the person that you're with because it's a matter of if you're a masculine but it'd be a pregnant like partnership but i do feel like it's for you okay this is all good news this is all good news things need to really take off for you 
<clears throat> communication is key. We need to talk. The lovers is here. Yeah, we need to talk. I just came through like that. Something saying we need to talk to you, Capricorn. The lovers is Gemini. We need to talk now. June in Gemini energy. We're in Gemini season. Number six is June. <laughs> Something about January 6th could be specific or January 18th could be specific. But this is a love situation. This is a union. This is agreement, compromising, um, adherence, mutual respect, and support. The devil could be trying to get in and interfere with the situation, too. Number 15 could be specific as well. The devil's Capricorn and Chinese, your ox, too. Sixth house out here would be Virgo or Rooster. That's also part of the Ace of Pentacles. Something could be specific on August 5th. Something could be specific for June 15th. Something could also be specific for June 18th. Something could be specific for January 6th. I already think I said that, but January 15th, too. Or it also could be... Angel number 186-156-651-856 or even 586. Any of those numbers. Flipping them into whatever you may need them to be with those numbers specifically. It could be angel numbers to look to. There is something toxic, though, that you guys have to be wary of. I do have the Seven of Pentacles coming out. A change of plan, because there's going to be some setbacks or delays in something. There has been. And this is where you end up having to change your plan. That makes sense. Seven of Pentacles, seven. This is Taurus or Chinese or Snake, by the way. Seven. Seventh house is uh, Libra. Okay? So, Goddess of Love, Venus Energy. Or Chinese, your dog as well. But I get that this is about... A tower moment is a happening, which does make somebody having no other choice but to try something out in a different way, a new plan, making a new plan. One plan didn't work, another plan will work. What else do we want to add here? Queen of Cups. There's somebody who you can actually plan new things with, or there's going to be this new vibration within you that could be helping you plan something new. Like, how I want to say this. If you're feminine energy, there's a new part about yourself that you've actualized and there's a quality within you that you've enhanced or multiple qualities that you've enhanced. And this is a part of the, the fact that this is going to help you on this new journey of new plans because ones in the past didn't work out, but there's a new vibration and a new frequency, a new download within you that's going to make it easier. If you're a mask on this, it's this person by your side, standing you by your side, trying to help you create something amongst what you guys can have in this brand new, this brand new beginning. Okay, this is a lot of love. I've been learning a lot of love for Capricorn lately. Queen of Cups is also Gemini and Cancer. We're in Gemini season, like I've said, the whole time, I believe. And Cancer Chinese your sheep, which is actually the opposite side of you, Capricorn, which does mean this is like the victory you've been looking for the whole time. Okay. I'm actually going to get you a message for the inside message. Inside, within you. Within you message. Push through any insecurity within yourself. Okay, Cancer Chinese your sheep. That is... Your opposite sign. Let's see what's going on without, without, with, without, within and without, without. We have speak your world into being. It came in the reversal and it's a Gemini's energy. And on the bottom, trust the universe. Okay, so don't speak to other people about what you want, what your world is into the being of, of others. It's speaking into your, into yourself. Don't speak out to the, the energies around you. Does that make sense? Because this is without, this is within. Push through any insecurity, but don't speak about what you're going through, like what you're planning to do to others. Just keep it to yourself. The speaker speak to the spiritual energy instead. Okay, that kind of feeling. I hope this helped though. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Much love to you, Capricorn. This was really good. I guess you guys want to probably know about this one. If you do, stick around and find out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna use the Osho Zen to see what's going on with this. Someone's caught on camera. This person's not very playful. This person's uh, very. We actually, what I'm getting with the playful and the reversal is like somebody's very immature, very much so like childish as hell. Okay, like extra work, like worse. And then going with the flow. Something that happens with this person is gonna have have it easier for you to go with your flow. 
morality because you can you kept your morals when it came down to this person and anytime you've encountered them you made conscious decisions you turned yourself in maybe you even repented and came clean from something with this person before and i mean i would only know you would only know what that means to you but you let it go okay you were exhausted from it and you had a breakthrough when you did and rebirth into something new and this is where you're getting rewarded in a lot of different ways anyway I don't know what's going to happen to this person. No, I don't. But I guess we can find out what's going to happen to this person. They're going to get caught. What's happening? <clears throat> this person's going to try to pick. Okay. And so if this person gets caught, they're going to try to say it wasn't them. Seven of Cups is giving in the sense that they're going to try to make the options bigger than them and make it look like somebody else had done what they did. And it's going to, I don't know. That's the feeling. Okay. Like, like it's them caught on camera. But maybe their face isn't fully like activated in there, right? Even though, and so they're trying to get away with it being somebody else or something like that. I'm also getting with the Six of Swords in the reversal. <clears throat> this could also have something to do with a water accident or something like that. But this is actually telling me this could be an uncovered crime type of feeling. It's very bad. So Scorpio and Aquarius energy too with this um, Six and Seven. So, 6th house would be Virgo, 7th house would be Libra, Chinese is your dog, or Chinese is your rooster, Aquarius is tiger, and Scorpio is pig. <clears throat> Somebody is going to try to make it look like they didn't do it. Because, like, like, you know, illusion with the 7 of cups? They're going to try to make it look like they didn't do it. They're going to make it, yeah, like, I don't know how, this is bad. This is not a good thing. Yeah, this person projected a lot of the things onto you that you're actually over here trying to get over these self-sabotaging ways. Number seven. This person, because of their own de deceptive ways, this person's you, you are going to see something that's going to give you the clarity about this person that you always needed to flower, the perfect flower you've been needing to, and the totality and the trust for the new dream living the dream, you're going to see why you, like, why you ended up in an isolation away from this person. So you could mature and slow down your life and feel the intensity of all the things and, and let go of the conditioning, okay? Because that, that made you feel more alone. And now there's this new vision you're proceeding with. And you may be rebelling against things, but look how much friendliness and integration and coexisting <clears throat> and being able to try to speak your truth that you've been trying to do and push through because of the old past. This person is... Maybe they're like a magician. I don't know. Cause look at it. It looks like it kind of, kind of like somebody's trying to be a little tricky fool, fooler, trying to make look, look the other way type of feeling. Trying to project it in something else. And I don't know, this person could try to try to get away with it, but they're about to be caught up for something that they did. And they're going to try to get away. And like, this is something that you're going to notice that they've done their whole life. And this is something that you're going to really bring yourself to clarity. Why God had protected you from this person and made you get away from them. It's just, it hurt. Okay. Anyway, I love y'all. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys. Bye Capricorn.